Welcome to ET Tube, Bain Circuit Check. Okay, can you describe the, um, the breathing circuit connected to this anaesthetic machine? Okay. So this is a, a Bain circuit, which is a coaxial Mapleson D circuit. And can you show me how you would check this, uh, this circuit? Okay, firstly I'd visually inspect it. I check there's no obvious tears or deformities to the bag. I check there's no obvious cuts or holes in the outer tubing. I then check the inner tubing. Check that it's attached to the machine end of the circuit. Make sure there's no obvious holes or tears in it. And that it's attached to the, the patient end of the tubing. I then perform three tests. Attach it back onto the fresh gas flow. Turn the oxygen flow up. First thing I'm going to test the inner tubing with this plunger of the 2 mil syringe. I'm going to include the end of the inner tubing. And as I do so, I should watch the rotometer drop, which it has done. So the inner tubing is patent. Then I'm going to check the outer tubing by including with my thumb, waiting for the reservoir bag to fill up, and then squeezing to make sure I get some good pressure. Then with the reservoir bag filled, release my thumb, oxygen flush, which causes a venturi effect, which deflates the bag. So now after my test, I'm happy that this circuit is safe to use. Okay, and can you tell me what the minimum fresh gas flow is for spontaneous ventilation? This is two to three times the minute ventilation of the patient, which will be roughly about 14-15 litres per minute in a 70 kilogram man. And can you tell me what the minimum gas, fresh gas flow is in controlled ventilation? That's about one times the minute ventilation of one times a minute ventilation, which would be about five litres per minute. And can you tell me why the fresh gas flow flows are less for con um, controlled ventilation? That's because in controlled ventilation there's a longer expiratory pause so that it doesn't need as long to fill up the, um, the space in the outer tubing, which is where you're breathing from. Can you tell me what would happen if the length of the outer tubing was increased? Well, theoretically, this can be as long as you need it to be, but as you increase the length, the resistance to expiration increases. And what is the usual volume of the outer tube? It is usually approximately equal to one tidal volume, or about 500 mils. And what would happen if there was a hole in your reservoir bag? If there was a hole in the reservoir bag, you'd lose the ability to, to control the ventilation, but in spontaneous ventilation it'd have little effect, although you would lose the visual representation of the breathing pattern. And can this circuit be used in the MRI? Yes, it can. It's one of its many advantages. Thank you.